Right, today we're gonna to be talking about how to cheat in the bench press. Everyone loves a good little cheat or a good little hack to improve and get instant gains. And this is one that's gonna help your bench press instantly once you apply it. And that is the bench press arch. So the first tip to improving your bench press arch is using external cues. So one that we love to hammer here at Melbourne Strength Culture is get your chest up to the ceiling. So you're lying down on the bench press, you're thinking about driving your chest as high as you possibly can to the ceiling. In terms of applying this to the actual bench press, one of the accessories that we love to use is the pin press. Now, why do we love the pin press? Because when you do the pin press, you set the pins higher than your chest. So you have to come down, touch the pins, and then you've got a gap between your chest and the barbell. That means you have to externally think about driving your chest up to the barbell to shut down that range of motion. So you're getting that active movement where you can actually think about getting your chest up nice and high. So one thing to note with the pin press is to make sure that you keep the pins set at the same height for the whole block. This way you can actually physically see week to week to week if you're shutting down that range of motion. You'll be able to see originally you're three centimeters off the bar and then over time you can shut down that gap to one centimeter off the bar. So make sure you keep the pins set at the same height for the whole training block. All right, the second little tidbit for your bench press is using your legs. Use those legs to wedge in your upper back. When you get that arch, you set up, you unrack the bar, you get that chest nice and high, you're driving it up to the ceiling, you need to use your legs to wedge that position in and lock it in. Your legs are the biggest gateway to, to holding that position. More often than not, people just don't use their legs in the bench press. So drive your legs as hard as you can, pin your upper back into the bench and keep that chest nice and high. So when you're actually applying this tip, what you should be feeling is obviously pressure through the feet because you're driving those feet into the ground, which then means you're pinning that upper back into the bench. Your upper back should almost be sliding across the bench, but obviously we're trying to wedge it and keep it pins there. But if, if we wanted to, the upper back would slide. So you should feel a lot of pressure on your upper traps and upper back. When you're actually applying this cue of leg drive to lock in that arch, what you should be feeling is your legs are driving into the floor. Imagine if you're on a leg extension and you're pushing the weight up, your legs would be going into extension, but because we've got the floor there, it keeps it locked in. But that's the same sensation, plenty of quad tension. This means that we're then wedging our upper back into the bench, and we should be feeling that contact with the bench really high up our upper back, almost close to our neck on our upper traps. You don't wanna be feeling that pressure on the bench on the scaps or the lower mid back. So it's really important when, when locking in that bench press arch, you feel the pressure on the back pad high up the upper back. And finally, the third tip to help you get a bigger bench press arch is just your warm up drills or drills that you can do in between your sets of your bench press. Two or three that we really love to hammer here at Strength Culture is just foam roller, uh, extending or arching over a foam roller, arching over a peanut, or lying over the bench and arching as well. Now, with all these three drills, we're trying to drive spinal extension to improve that arch, but the important thing is that when you're executing these drills, you're actually visualizing yourself on a bench press, trying to drive your chest up to the ceiling. So don't just aimlessly sit on a foam roller, like actively spend 30, 45 seconds visualizing yourself on a bench press, trying to drive that little bit of extension through the spine and get your chest up to the ceiling. So if you wanna dive deeper into the technical side of the bench press, come down to our, our workshop, which is on the 30th of April. Uh, the link will be in the description box below. And as always, if you like this content, like, subscribe, share it. Uh, it helps us more than you know, and always happy lifting.